Hi there, my name is Matt coming to you from CNC Machinist Made Easy. Today's video is center drill with G codes. Um, look past uh, in the past few videos here when you look at G codes, this first four lines we talked about, remember them, know them, memorize them. I said you will use them on 99% of all your programs. Those first four lines are very repetitious. And when you learn them, you've just, you've just learned most every single G-code program in the world, the first four lines. Um, and if you know what each one of them means, it's going to help you extremely. Today, we're going to talk about center drilling. Now, we see this first four lines. This right here would be added to that. But let's take it apart. Let's take a look here. So, today, G81. G81. Let's imagine we have a block right here. This is just a steel block. We can, the depth of it is a, kind of irrelevant right now. Um, I'm, it's CNC machinist made easy. Let's say the block is the hole right here. This little blue dot is a hole and it's one inch in and one inch up. If this is my zero, it would be X1, Y1, which you can see I've got right here. So let's get right involved here. It's really pretty simple when you put your mind to it. It's really not a lot here. Now, we have what we called in G codes canned cycles. What that means is, can cycles means you have the letters here, or variables, that represent something to make it real easy for anybody so they can enter in these certain values. There's really not a lot of them to remember, and you can get a lot more done than you would if you had to go up, down, up, down, up, down, left, right. You can enter variables, which we're about to see here. So we have center drilling right here. G81. G81 means exactly that. It means center drilling. You're telling your machine... I want the center drill. The R value is your rapiding two. The nice way I always remember it is to rapid two. Remember your last command here was three inches above your part, um, back in the video of the introduction of G-code programs. And right here is rapid to that point. So you're gonna rapid from that three right there all the way down to 100 thousandths above the part. The Z variable will equal your depth. So I want a depth. I want to poke that little down and get down about 60 thousandths, which is about a sixteenth of an inch to make a little dentation there for my drill to follow to keep it perfectly in location. And the VF is the feed rate. And inches per minute is what we work at. Um, feed of 10 point. These are all whole numbers. The point needs to be addressed or it will think it's 0 0.0001. So we don't need that. So we always want to declare where our zero is. So what you're telling here is, hey, machine, now that we've done our introduction, I want to tell you I want to send a drill. I want to wrap it 100 thousandths above my surface. I want to drill it at a 60 thousandths deep, which is a standard small drill. You can go deeper. Um, as you get used to it, you'll understand. And the feed rate is a feed of 10 inches per minute. Now, anything after that is going to do the locations of where you want that. Right here, it's going to do X one point, Y one point. Now, it's going to also, in this particular instance, drill a hole at X zero, Y zero, because it'll always, the first hole will always be the coordinates in the introduction program. So in essence, this program really would drill a hole right there, which is a little bit uh, redundant. It's, it's, it's not... Um, it's, there's no reason for it. I'm just using this here because it was the introduction program I taught you. What you would normally do is put your X1, Y1 up here because that will be your first hole. Now, if I wanted to change this to a 2, then th this location will be my second location and any locations afterwards I can keep piling up. And you will uh, drill them lo um, in any location that is addressed here. But the first one would be up here in the X0, Y0. So essentially, if I ran this program, it would drill a, hill, a, 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 a center drill at 0, and it would drill one here at 1 and 1, which obviously you don't want at 0, but for learning's sake, um, we, we did it like that to um, go back and so you could remember here this, this introduction program. Um, now let's go to the next line here. G0 is rapid. Rapid, we know from our introduction, is move as fast as you can, and we know G90, that's absolute. We're going from the absolute zero, not any incremental. Look at my absolute and incremental video on more information there. And the G80 is going to cancel your drill cycle. 
You always want that because you want your machine to say, I'm done drilling. So on if they ever see these variables again or something else, like a G83 or 4, which we'll get into in the future, wants to run, it will know now. This G81 is now done. We are over with the center drill cycle. Rapid, three inches above your part again. There's your G90. You're absolutely in rapiding to three inches above your part. And your M9 will be your coolant off. So that's center drilling. Um, the big part to remember in this video is I could have put this one X, one Y one up here. These, these first two X and Ys is where that first location will be. And anywhere after that will be other locations. Now, if I wanted to put a fourth line in here or a G81 line, you got your X1 line and a line between these, the, this one and, 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 this, and the last one. And I just wanted to put an X2 point, only an X2 point. It will remain at Y1 point. It's called modal or non-modal. G codes will always do that. So if I want to put another hole right here, which would be X2 point, and my Y is the same, I don't need to repeat the Y if it's the same or the X if it's the same. Anyone that's the same, I don't have to repeat it. I can put 100 locations in here if there was holes all over this block. After you're done with your locations, you come in here and you remember these three, these this last line, rapid to the absolute, shut the drill cycle off, rapid three inches above your part, and shut your coolant off. I want to thank you for watching. Keep in touch. We'll get some more drill cycle G codes going shortly. Thanks again for watching. CNC Machinist Made Easy.